Triple guppies. Triple track train race. So town race. Molly and Gil were swimming to school one morning when they heard a loud whistle. Let's go check it out, said Gil. The two guppies followed the sound to a busy train station. As a passenger train pulled away from the station, Gil and Molly spotted someone fixing the whistle on a small black train. There's the engineer who works on the train, said Molly. The engineer smiled. There's old number nine. She's a steam locomotive and she's over a hundred years old. He patted the whistle. Old number nine is gonna need this if she's gonna be in the triple train track race today. When Gil and Molly got to school, they told all of their friends about old number nine. When the engineer blew the whistle and went, woo, woo, said Gil. What does engineer mean? Asked Una. The engineer is the person who drives the train, explained Nani. Let's think about trains, said Mr. Grouper. Trains get from here to there by riding along. What are those, Dandy? Um, train tracks. Good job. Mr. Grouper nodded, and yeah. trains stop and pick up people at the train station. Yeah, the train station. Good job. The bubble guppies chugged off to lunch in engineer costumes. What did you get to for lunch today, Nani? Asked Una. Nani opened his lunchbox. Tracaroni and cheese. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> Later that That's day, silly. that is silly. <laughs> Later that day, Mr. Grouper told the guppies he was taking them to the triple track train race. Field trip! They cheered excitedly. They couldn't wait to watch old number nine race against the super liner passenger train and the mighty Miss Freight train. Who do you think's gonna win? Um, Nani. Nani? Yeah. You think that one's gonna win? No. You think that one's gonna win? Yeah. <laughs> Molly, Gil, and Bubble Puppy joined the engineer and old number nine. The tree, three trains lined up at the starting gate. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines, called the announcer. The checker flag dropped and the chains were off. The trains were neck and neck. They went around the first corner, but then the super liner pulled in front. Wow, that's a really fast train, said Gil. Is that the one you're cheering for? Or are you cheering for old number nine? Old number nine. <laughs> Molly and Gil saw a steep mountain up ahead. One track went around it, another track went over it, and a third track went through it. The super liner reached the mountain first. Ladies and gentlemen, the super liner is going around the mountain, called the announcer. The mighty mist roared up the mountain and took the track that went over it. Whistling and tooting, old number nine took the track through the mountain. Just in a few moments, we should be able to see the trains as they come around the finish line, said the announcer. In the distance, a whistle blew. Old number nine came chugging out of the tunnel. She was in first place. The engineer blew the whistle again. He didn't see the whistle come loose and tumble off the train. Just then a herd of cows stepped onto the tracks. Look out, cried Molly. The engineer pulled the brakes and old number nine screeched to a stop. Quick, Molly, pull the whistle, said Gil. But when Molly pulled, there was no sound. Oh no, we lost our whistle, said the engineer. See the whistle falling off the train? Yeah. They're about to hit the cows, so they had to slam on their brakes. The trains whistle to get the cows out of the way, but they don't have a whistle anymore. Molly and Gil could hear the other trains approaching behind them. What are we going to do? asked Molly. Bubble Puppy leapt out and ran down the track. He picked up the train whistle and took it to the engineer. I'd better put this back on quick, said the engineer. 
He fastened the whistle onto the train. Molly blew the whistle and the cows moved out of the way. All clear, she yelled. The train engineer started the train and old number nine raced ahead with the express train and the freight train right behind. Look, old number nine's in the lead. <gasps> what is that? What? The finish line. This is going to be incredibly close, shouted the announcer. Yeah, yeah, All the yeah, trains yeah, near the yeah, finish line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old number nine whistled and chugged and crossed the yeah. line first. Yeah. Yay, he won. Thanks, kids, said old number nine's engineer. I couldn't have done it without you. And a special thanks to you, Bubble Puppy. Fantastic, cheered the Bubble Guppies. The end.